Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pixel Bud. How are you doing? Everybody okay? Good, I'm good too. I just did a wonder trade and I got a ladybug. So, hooray. I've already put it in my wonder trade page in my computer. So it's going to be wonder traded right back. Now, I'm over here. Is this a sea king? Sure is. Let's let's fight the sea. Dang it, guy. Let's fight the sea king. There we go. Whoa. Sorry about that. I clicked out. You guys may not notice the thing. Uh, let's do takedown. Sea King's going down. Dawn fan. Recoil damage. That's that's the problem with takedown. Does has recoil damage on, on the Dawn fans. He avoided the attack. He's a fish. How is he dodging an attack? By swimming? Ugh, so dumb. Just kidding, guys. So how's everybody doing? I'm hanging out here at the edge of this uh, lake. Because I believe... Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Blastoise. Let's let's fight him. Let's do another takedown. I should have probably healed before I did this. Skull Bash didn't really do that much damage to me. Now, he is water. I don't think... I don't think I can... I have anything that will damage him, right? He used withdraw. Oh, what? Does... does rock? Yeah, rock is not, is not a thing. Let's try Assurance. Assurance is good. It was a critical hit, too. Uh, let's finish it with Rollout. Rollout should be not very effective, but... Super... Oh, no! Uh, looks like Marowak's getting all of the XP's. Do it. Oh, he did not kill him with that headbutt. Come on, guy. Oh, my gosh. It looks like Giraffe Rig is getting all of the XP's. <laughs> this is ridiculous. There we go. 44. Giraffe Rig's growing in size. He's only 11 levels away from being ready for the gym. Not that I'll ever use him regularly, but I might at the beginning, especially when I don't have other guys. Guys, let's talk about something. Poke heal. Let's talk about something very, very controversial. Politics. Now wait. Now wait. Before you push stop on the video, I'm not going to preach. I am not going to preach. I just have a question for mainly the Americans out there. What's going on with Trump? <laughs> What's going on with Trump? Now, I hope a lot of you, even if you're be, uh, under voting age, are keeping track of, like, the uh, primaries. Um, but Trump, man, like, don't get me wrong. I love Trump as an entertainer. But having him be this guy, I don't see this guy very often. In fact, I don't think I have one. I think I'm going to catch him. Um... So, yeah, I love Trump as an entertainer. My favorite show, one of my favorite shows, I can't say my favorite show, is, uh, oh, my goodness, is, um, yeah, I guess because he's water, right? <laughs> this, oh, now I tried flamethrower like an idiot. Oh. Wow. Okay. Well, that'll work, I guess. Uh, the Apprentice is, like, one of my favorite shows. So, I understand the entertainment value, but how is he getting so much traction as, like, uh, the Republican nominee. It looks like he's going to win. Nice! It looks like he's going to win the Republican nomination to, to run for president. And this, this man, he does not strike me as a bright man. I might be wrong about that. Just the way he speaks, he doesn't, he doesn't seem to be <laughs> the brightest bulb in the box. He says what he thinks, though. I could definitely see the appeal, right? Because he says what he's thinking. He has no filter. He changes his mind like I change my underwear, which is once a week. I'm just kidding. But I think it's pretty it's pretty interesting that he's getting all this attention. It's probably because he's like the anti anti politician, really. Politician, I mean, people always say, "Oh, you you'd be a good politician when you fail to answer a question directly and sort of skirt around the subject." <laughs> and so this guy I guess he's just like the opposite of that. He just says what he thinks. Although he does, when he doesn't have an answer for something, he doesn't really say anything. It's like, okay, so how are you going to fix uh, this? And he'll say, well, this is great. It needs to be greater, and I'll fix it. That's about it. Like, he doesn't really have any specifics. Um, and I'm not judging. If you are if you are soundly for Donald Trump, and you have a good reason for it, then by all means... You know, it's your vote. You could do with it what you like. I would personally not 
uh, vote for the Trumpster. Not because I don't like him. I think he's very entertaining. It's because I don't think he really has a plan. Personally, as a Canadian, now I'm not telling you how to vote and stuff, but as a Canadian, the, the candidate out of all the Republicans and Democrats that rings closest to home, is that a saying? Can I use that saying? I'm going to use that saying. Uh, is Bernie Sanders. And everybody freaks out. Oh, look, I got a Pichu in the egg. Wait a minute. Was that Pichu? That Pichu was on my list. And the only way you can get him is from breeding. Got it. Got it. Speaking of breeding, before I continue my political talk, um, people keep telling me to, or not people, I think one person told me to get a Totodile by uh, breeding the its evolution, I guess, with um, with an e with oh I almost said Eevee with a Ditto, but I don't have the evolution I don't think, you know. So this is why I'm searching for a Totodile. I'll search for one more night and then I'll check in my in my uh, my list of pokes if I have them, but I don't think I do. What's that over there? A Carvania. Now I don't know if I caught this one yet. I know I've tried. Yeah, I definitely caught it. All right, take that. So yeah, uh, Bernie. People get freaked out like socialism. Oh my God, socialism. Trust me, like. Universal healthcare is fantastic. Sure, there are some waiting waiting lines, um, waiting times. That's that's what I was looking for. Uh, when you get to the emergency room, because there's a lot of people going in, because heck, it's pretty much free. Um, it is free, so people go in and um, probably shouldn't always be there. But most of the time, it's usually an emergency, and there are some waiting times. But you don't, you know, you're not stuck with thousands and thousands of dollars. In terms of uh, a hospital bill, there really is nothing. This totodile is gonna be like the only thing I will not catch. I'm gonna go fight this guy just because I want to. So anyway, I'm definitely not telling you how to vote. Uh, Hillary, I don't know. Uh, she's got that whole email scandal going on. I can't vote, so I have no horse in this race. You know, I just think it's funny that Trump is getting is getting so much attention and he's gaining so much momentum. It's like he's unstoppable. But hey, the American people, <laughs> the American people know what the American people want. So if they want Trump, get yourself a Trumpster. I think I think it's a little bit. I don't. I think it's a dangerous choice. It's a risky choice. Let's just put it that way. It's a risky choice. And um, let's all act civilized in the comments. I know politics can get people all riled up. So if you're typing an angry response right now, calm down. People are entitled to their opinions. Uh, you can defend your candidate. Um, you know, in a in a polite and civilized manner, without resorting to ridiculous name calling and and rudeness and stuff like that. Hey, Yumi, I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna fight you with my Don fan. So yeah, if you guys have anything interesting to add to the subject about being mean to each other or to me, then by all means, do it. Uh, I have been I've been following. Like this has been the most fascinating uh, primary. What do you call it? the primary election? Is that what is that what it's officially called? Again, I'm Canadian, <laughs> so I, I don't know. Uh, but I have been following it, and some of these debates, man, whew, especially the Republican debates, my gosh, they're just calling each other names. It's like the most unpresidential thing I've ever seen. Like, seriously. And then and then you got, okay, so Trump's got all this momentum. And then you got uh, Mitt Romney, who asked for Trump's blessing, so to speak. Uh, avoided the attack. Am I using the wrong attack on this guy? Let's just do a takedown. Oh, I should use dark. Okay, well, it's too late now. Well, let's use assurance now. Let's see what happens. But yeah, he asked for Trump's uh, n uh, endorsement when he was running for president. And then he comes out and, like, totally badmouths Trump. And I don't understand that. Like, you just asked for his endorsement four years ago. And now you're badmouthing him. I don't understand <laughs> where the logic is in that. It just seems like he was the. He would have been the last person, I would think. The, Republic, the Republicans pick to make that speech. But then again, who else do they have? You know? Anyway. Anyway. Um, that's that's just how I view things. It's been a reality show, really. What did I... When I tried to take down, it was, it was not... Look at this guy. Arm of God opening legendary crates like a champ. That might be his first. I haven't been noticing. Uh, let's try assurance on this guy. This graveler. Mm, none of this is really very useful. I need to use ah take down take down missed last time right takes re oh it wasn't very effective right it's a normal attack against a rock type 
Flail. Flail's not going to do much unless he gets damage right now. No. And it wasn't very effective. Again, normal type. I'm not sure why I went back to it. Assurance should kill him. Yeah! What are we at anyway? Level 45 on Dawn Fan. I was right. Look. Arm of God. Look at this guy. That's four. That's five of them. Six. Seven of them. Eight. Nine of them? I can't count. <laughs> it's not that I can't count. It's hard to count like this. Anyway, yeah, I was right. Let's put this beat you away. Uh, let's just go back to the beef gym. Look at that little guy over there. Trap inch. The beef gym looking all amazing and stuff. Let's put this beat you away. Now, I could have sworn I had a beat you before. I could be wrong about that. Could be wrong about that. All right, let's put him here. Uh, there's the crawdont that we just caught as well, the Embor. Okay, let's bring out... These are the guys I need to wonder trade. Oh, I should have wonder traded the Squirtle. He's probably the best of that group. Let's bring out the Taurus. The Ford Taurus. We should name this guy Ford. You know what? I have never done this before. How do you do this? Summary? Can I, can I name him? Yes. Ford. Done. His name is Ford and he's a Taurus. I think that's the cleverest thing. That I've ever done. Let's go surgeon for more folks. It is a hotbed of activity over here. Look at this. All right, let's. Uh, who should we hit first? Gligars, Golbats. Ah, how about this Golbat right there? Bang! I'm getting good with these shots. Let's try a rollout on the Golbat because he's a flying type. He used Confuse Ray. I am now confused, but I still hit him. Super effective. He's level 47 versus Don Fan level 45. So. Um, he's actually more powerful than I am, or more, or higher level. Please don't hit yourself again, guy. Use bite. Oh man, he keeps hitting himself. Okay, let's flail because possibly. Nice flail was ghost trap flail again. Good, good. Now, beautiful. Look at that flail. Earthquake. Yes. Oh yeah, earthquake. Okay, we will remove. I like Flail when I'm down. I don't really think Assurance. Uh, we have Flail as a normal type. Let's let's remove Takedown because Takedown is 90, 85% accuracy. Um, but then again, I don't think... Eh, let's use Earthquake instead of... Yeah, let's do that. Let's remove Takedown. You guys are yelling at me right now. Oh my god, beef. I can't believe... Come on, really? Right when I threw the dang thing? Come back to me. Come back to me! Thank you. Don't forget it. These guys are always so elusive. Oh, this guy. Nice! Okay, Pidgeot. Uh, oh, yeah, this is not going to be very effective at all against the Pidgeot. Oops! Okay, let, let's... Uh, oh, man. Okay, Marowak. Um, gosh, these are ground-type attacks. Okay, this is a bad choice. I think I'm just going to have to go with Charizard just to get out of this fight. Oh, I was a critical hit that head, but let's try Thrash. Feather Dance. Thrash. Didn't do very much damage. I wonder. I use Thrash again for whatever reason. I flinched. Okay. I wonder if Headbutt has a high critical hit ratio. Ooh, Wing Attack. That was damaging. Alright, just so he gets a little bit of uh, experience, let's bring in Giraffe Rig. And we'll do, um, let's do a Zen, uh, the Psychic, I think this one is a good attack. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, good. This place is always a good place to level. Slash Poke Heal. Let's do, uh, Gligars are tough, man. Let's do, oh, yeah, I, I Poke Healed, right? Yes, I did. Uh, let's do another Golbat. Crap, I think I missed both of them. I retrieved him. Okay, something's over here. Oh, gosh. Stop. Mm. Yes. All right. Roll out. Roll out. Super effective, but didn't do that much damage. The wing attack didn't do very much damage to me. There we go. Super. Grass gym leaders come online. I miss the days when I could just, like, go to a grass gym and fight. That one time that I did it. But now I gotta level up my guys all kinds just to get to the electric slash steel gyms. Look at all these guys. Can you follow him? He's right there. Good. Let's do rollout. 
I want to try Earthquake on something, actually. Roll out. Ooh, I think it's time to use Flail. Flail for all the damage. Yeah, Flail's real good. I love Flail. Hopefully he damaged me just a little bit more. Ooh, he killed me. Uh, let's go with Marowak. Marowak should be able to finish him with the headbutt. Wing attack. I didn't say one headbutt. He used Gust. I think Gust maybe repeats the last move. Is that what that is? Okay. Oh, he forced really after that long fight. Okay, well, whatever, man. Let's do Boca Heal slash WT. Which one is the one with the very high? Not Wonder Tree. What the heck am I doing? Slash Warp. Uh, gym 1. And then I think over here. I think over here is where, like, the really high level. Come on, execute. The really high level guys hang out. I wanted to try. See where? Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Is there anybody here? Usually this this place is packed. Ah, oh, there's nobody here today. Ooh, a sand shrew, and trio, a dug trio. trio, trio. Man, I'll never be able to fight or beat these guys though. Oh look, there's somebody here. He's got a level trio, 46 trio, gigalith. Trio, trio. You're fighting over here with a level. Oh, there's a level 77, 75 Kyogre. Um, are you high level? Yes. Okay. Earthquake. He's going to one-shot me. Ooh. Hey, Earthquake is not bad against these guys. Let's try Earthquake again. He's going to kill me, though, right? Yeah. All right. Well, let's just uh, send in Ford. <laughs> and then we're going to run. And hopefully we can run. Okay, good. Hmm. What I could do is get a really high-level guy and take these guys out. Um... And then have like XP sharing or something, you know? Like, I don't think I'll ever be able to beat a level 92 with a level 45. Even with my earthquake that does pretty good amount of damn, he's self destructed. Oh man, he's self destructed. Trio, trio, trio. I got some, I got 7,000 experience out of that. I guess that's one thing I can hope for flail. Because he doesn't kill himself, right? Or he, you can't, he can't kill, he can't die. <laughs> he can't die in the first, uh, the first hit. Yeah, now he's dead. Uh, Ford, you're my official escape vehicle. Run, run. Hi, person. Couldn't escape. Okay, well, it'll be over soon. Marowak, Ford failed. You shall run away. Marowak escaped. Can I find more of those Gravelers? If I could find more of those Gravelers and they self-destruct. Wait, I think the Fortresses self-destruct too. I don't see any more though. This guy's level 75 Kyogre. I got right in the middle of that fight. Yeah, I think that's it. That's unfortunate. Let's get that out of the way. <gasps> Here's one. Really? 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 There we go. Earthquake. He's rock polish. Okay, Earthquake again. Use Rock Polish. Oh god, this guy. Earthquake again. There it is, there's the explosion. Level 48. Hmm. Seems like I'd be... I feel like I should be gaining more levels by fighting a level 93. Now maybe that's because he's self-destructing and I don't get all the experience points? I have no idea. There's Earthquake. Okay, rollout was not very effective. Let's hope he uses that again. He used it again. Oh my god, I actually might beat this guy. Oh! Level 49. Yeah, you get like 7,000 experience every time. So he levels up every time. But it seems like you'd get a lot more experience from beating a level 90-something. But that's kind of cool. He's at level 49 now. He what, what did he get here at? Like level 46, maybe? This camera up. Um, let me see. Oh, man. I forgot to poke a heal. Yeah. He used Earthquake. Okay. Ford, my escape vehicle. Run. Couldn't escape. Oh, this is the 
worst Ford Taurus ever. Oh my god, I didn't mean to use an actual attack. I just wanted to escape. Alright, Giraffe Rig, let us hop on your back and gallop up gallop us gallop us to safety. This is gonna be really, really bad. Okay, no. Let's just let's just escape. There we go. I've been going ham over here. Look at Don fans level 55 now. I've been attacking every Doug Trio and Graveler that shows up here. Maybe even a Sand Shrew. Hey, San oh, Sand Slash, sorry. Oh, there's there's a Graveler. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yeah. So I'm going to end the episode here, guys. And the whole reason I actually wanted to talk about politics in this video, and I almost forgot, ouch, that hurt a lot, um, was to remind everybody, if you're of legal voting age, get out and vote. Um, it's super important. It's the future of your country, guys. It's the future. It's the future. I think I'm in trouble with this Graveler now. Uh, let's go with... I don't really want to use Charizard because I don't want to level him up. Marowak. I kind of want to use Marowak, but Marowak. I don't think he's going to... I mean, what, what the heck is a Bone Meringue going to do against this guy? Trio, trio, trio. Oh, a critical hit. I got lucky with that at least. There we go. Oh, Stone Edge, he got me. He got me. Okay, Giraffe Rig. Uh, oof. Man, Zen Headbutt. Stone Edge, he avoided the attack. Zen Headbutt didn't do much damage. Assurance. Let's try Stomp. Oh, no, it's a normal type. Mm, double Edge, he killed me anyways. Oh, I've run. Oh, he used Self-Destruct. That's what happened. Okay. Anyway, get out there and vote, guys. I'm going to keep doing this for a little while longer. This is actually really, really fun. Wrecking 90-something 90, 90 level. Hey. Rex Films? How many films have you created, Rex? I'd like to I'd like to watch your films. I hear a graveler, but I don't see him. Oh, he's over here somewhere. Did I hit him? No? Graveler. I think he's behind me now. I don't know what's going Yep, nailed it. Graveler. Yeah, so get out there and vote. Uh, once again, I would love to see some nice, intelligent discussion in the comments. Don't resort to um, name-calling and, and stuff. Everybody's got their point of view. Uh, so, yeah. let's just. He didn't even level up that time. Come on, I just beat a level 90-something, and you didn't even level up, bro. You're level 55. <sighs> anyway. Hope you enjoyed this episode. See you next time. Bye-bye.